Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV with your Thursday night college football preview between Virginia and Louisville. This is your national TV game this Thursday night at 7.30 Eastern on ESPN. I'm going to let you know the best way to play this game and make some money. Thursday night college football coming right at you. Hey, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this game and also the other games you like here in Week 11 college football. Comment below. I read all the comments and a reply back. Let's win together here on Wager Talk TV. All right, Louisville's having a fantastic season, to say the least. You know, I used them as a free play last week on the college football show right here on Wager Talk TV. Be sure to check that show out every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week here on the channel. Uh, they were ranked number 13 now this week in the coaches poll and the AP Top 25 poll as I do this video early in the week for you on Monday afternoon. Uh, we'll see where the playoff rankings have them, of course, on Tuesday night when that's released. But either way, Louisville still has plenty of incentive to keep winning big. They're an 8-1 team. They're actually somewhat in the national title hunt. Now, granted, those five teams at 8-0 and in the top five, all winning, going to 9-0, and uh, does not help their cause. But their only loss this season was actually an explainable loss. Yes, it came against the Pitt Panthers, who went 0-6 straight up in ATS and all other games on each side of that loss a few weeks ago. But keep in mind, Pittsburgh was coming. Louisville, meanwhile, was coming off the big home upset of Notre Dame the week before that. And I think they definitely came a little bit flat. They had a 3 nothing turnover deficit. So I'll give them a little bit of a pass in that game. But yes, they upset Notre Dame at home. We had a strong best bet on them in that game a few weeks ago. Uh, they beat Duke 23 0. And yeah, Duke was banged up. Riley Leonard, a quarterback, but he played that game, was scrambling, moving around, but they completely shut him down passing. And then last week, a very impressive showing 34 3 as just a nine and a half point home favorite against Virginia Tech. And they completely shut down the Hokies defensively, giving up just 140 total yards in that game. So that does not bode well for Virginia, especially having to travel on a short week. Cavaliers just two and seven straight up this season. They are, though, a respectable six and three against the spread. And you do worry about some backdoor cover potential here with a team that throws the ball well, seven and a half yards per pass, but they cannot run the ball at all. And it gets a strong Louisville rush D that's allowing just 92 yards a game, three yards a carry. I do not see Virginia having any success running the ball. They're going to be one-dimensional here, and I think that'll allow a very balanced Louisville defense to shut them down. Louisville's offense is extremely balanced, five yards per rush, over nine yards per pass. And that, once again, gives them plenty of firepower to pull ahead and win by three touchdowns or more. Uh, we talk about this a lot, you know, with pro football. We don't see it as much in college football because a lot of times these Thursday night teams have a bye the week before, but that's not the case here. So both teams, yes, are on a short week. They each have to rebound and play after just four days. But Virginia's on the road, so they lose a day of rest and preparation having to travel, whereas Louisville remains at home. I think that's worth a few points more. Look for the Louisville Cardinal to pull head late. Yes, Virginia has some backdoor cover potential with a good passing attack, but Louisville has plenty of motivation to win big here and keep trying to climb the rankings. If you're going to play it, I would lay it with the minus 20 with Louisville Thursday night, 730 Eastern on ESPN. Hey, don't forget, there's a ton of other great games this weekend. Check out my personal best bets on my page right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and use promo code ALL30 to get an instant $50 discount this week on any 30-day package you want to purchase. You can do a single sport. College basketball is here. NBA, my number one ranked NBA over the past couple years, and NBA sides alone ranked number one in the NBA at wagertalk.com. Also entered this week up 30 net games in 2023 in NBA sides and totals. College and pro football sides have been combined. A fantastic number one rank in the past two years at wagertalk.com. So if you want football, basketball, or all sports, whatever 30-day you want, you get an instant $50 discount with promo code ALL30, A-L-L-3-0. Use that promo code ALL30. Full details on my page right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut WT.buzz slash SM. Remember to hit subscribe and hit the bell for instant alerts when all my videos go live this week, including my college football top 25 video Thursday night, NFL fade the public video this Saturday. And don't forget to stay tuned right here on Wager Talk TV for more great college and pro football preview videos coming up next.